Pisces, hello, welcome to your February 2023 tarot reading. I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name's Jade. Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Please keep in mind, Pisces, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone out there. If it does, please remember to give the video a like. And if you want good vibes, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a reading. Now, let's get into it because I've pre-pulled your energy oracle cards. We're going to do past, present, future, most important messages that you need to know. Give me a moment to tap in. Pisces, okay. So, recent past energy, beautiful card, we have appreciation, okay. Pisces, this card for me is telling me that in the recent past, you, you've been going through some things, something or multiple things, okay. What, what I'm hearing is no one could blame you recently if you were to just be in this woe is me energy, right? And yet you haven't been is what I'm getting. For most of you, you haven't been. If you have a look at this card, these here are all these like prickly branches, right? This, this um, represents the, the troubles that you've been going through. But she's not looking at that. She's just looking at this single flower here that's blossoming. And she's choosing to focus on that and appreciate that. And even better, over here, there's more beautiful blossoming flowers that she can't even see yet. So there's even more to come. And she doesn't even know that. And yet she's choosing to focus on this one. Okay? So I feel like Pisces recently, whatever it is that you've been going through, yes, you've acknowledged it. Yes, it's there. Yes, it's been happening. But you've been really trying. I'm getting this energy of trying your best to focus on the good, to focus on the positive, to focus on what you can control, right? So that's really beautiful, and we'll get more into that with the tarot in a moment. Now, this is where it gets interesting. <clears throat> in the present energy, we have cornucopia, and we have man holding a coin in reverse. Now, I'm just going to say right off the bat what I'm getting immediately. It's not going to be for everyone. Only take what fits for you. But this is giving me energy vampire vibes straight away. Okay, so for some of you, you will know if this is your message. Don't force it to fit. But if you've been, if your intuition's been telling you that someone around you has been giving these kind of vibes, this is for you. It's coming through as a male energy, okay? It's giving me energy vampire. You have an abundance of something right now, okay? This is an abundance card. This could be an abundance of money. It could be an abundance of happiness, abundance of, you know, you, you just have an abundance of good energy about you, an abundance of friends, of resources, of something. You have an abundance of something and somebody around you, it's coming through as a male energy, it doesn't have to be, is like feeding off of that or is only around to gain from your abundance. This could be somebody, it's, it's a very manipulative energy could be someone who is, you know, just out for their own advancement, using for money, using, or just simply using you for your good energy. I know using you sounds harsh, but I have to say how I'm seeing it. It's someone who, that they're, they're around for what they can gain from you, is what I'm getting from this. Okay? We'll dive deeper into that with the tarot. If it's not your message, leave it, don't force it to fit, but that's what I'm getting. Now, future energy, we have woman holding a heart in reverse. This is giving me um, you, Pisces, but remember energies can be vice versa, okay? Um, protecting your heart from something or being more discerning with who you allow into your heart space. This can talk about um, some kind of, I mean, it can be a breakup, right? Or it can be some kind of disharmony in a close friendship. It's to do with matters of the heart. So it's, it's someone that you hold dear to your heart this is either the falling out in that relationship or you choosing to kind of close yourself off a bit and protect your heart, okay? Now let's get into the tarot and find out why these energies are here and what they're talking about. But can I be honest, Pisces, I like it. Especially if this future energy is talking about this, this mofo right here, okay? But we'll see. The good news that I see before we move on is, hello, cornucopia, 
if you don't know, this is probably the best energy oracle card you could get and it's coming out in your current energy. So if it hasn't come to you yet, it's on its way to you very, very soon. And as I said, this can be an, an abundance of love, an abundance of money, an abundance of health, an abundance of, you know, just feel good energy. It's, it's abundance, it's wish fulfillment. It's actually kind of all encompassing. It's everything you could want, which is absolutely amazing. I just don't know why this mofo popped out here trying to eat off of your plate. Mm -mm. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Pisces. What is it about Pisces? I feel like you guys are just so sweet, so caring, so forgiving, so understanding. It's like you have to be really discerning with who you allow into your space, Pisces. Because, of course, everybody's going to want a taste of Pisces. Everyone and their mama. <laughs> Everyone. But not everyone's deserving, right? Let me not talk too much before we get into the tarot. Let's see. Let's clarify this appreciation energy in the past for Pisces, please. <clears throat> Tell me more. Clear, concise messages, please, for Pisces. What is this appreciation energy? What's been going on in the recent past for Pisces? Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, Pisces, I feel like this has to do with somebody, um, it could be a an earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, doesn't have to be. Hmm. It can be just somebody who's in a position of leadership, maybe a business person, an entrepreneur, or someone who's very financially wealthy. Okay, they are at the heart of this situation, whatever this is. We have the Seven of Cups here. Hmm. Okay, it's going to be different for everyone. Let me tell you the different stories that I'm seeing here. One is, the first one is, this is talking about someone around you, okay? Like I said, they're either wealthy, a business person, an entrepreneur, or um, an earth sign, who kind of pulled the wall over your eyes in some way. Okay, and it left you very um, imbalanced within yourself. It left you needing to heal from something. This is for some of you, okay? But as I said, you've chosen to focus on, on, to not focus on that too much and to focus on the good, okay? To focus on, I'm hearing to focus on the good that came out of that, okay? Um, for others of you, if this is not talking about a person, this could be, um, your financial situation, your career, your job, your business, something like that. Um, again, there was something that wasn't clear. I'm getting this energy of like a veil, some kind of illusion, some kind of truth not being revealed. Interesting. Yeah, some kind of... Some kind of illusion. Yeah, so it's either someone, like I said, earth sign or a person in some position of leadership who pulled the wall over your eyes, okay? Or this is talking about your own money, your job, your career, your business. Hmm. Something, something, sorry, I'm just getting downloads here. Give me a moment. Something tested your faith. Whatever this is, something in the recent past really put your faith to the test. It put you in a position where you really had to trust yourself, Pisces. You had to trust yourself. Mm. Bottom of the deck energy, just for some of you, someone had you in a third party situation. That could be what this was. Only take it if it resonates. Tell me more about this Seven of Cups, please, for Pisces. getting for some of you that simply you had some um you had multiple choices in whatever way that is whether that's multiple choices in career in love whatever 
and you were kind of lacking trust in yourself but whatever but i keep getting this energy whatever it is that you fought against that and you've really tried your best to keep yourself in a good mental space and appreciate the lesson or appreciate the good i don't know let me know in the comments what this is talking about please pisces thank you mm. nine of wands in reverse yeah something's really you've really been put in this position where you've had to tap in to your self-trust and your inner resources you've really had to be your own best friend through something here hmm interesting let me know in the comments pisces if that resonates for you let's move on to the current energy please let's find out who this person is what's going on for pisces tell me more please clear concise messages for pisces man holding a coin thank you hmm oh lord oh my god too many over there too many pisces eight of cups i feel pisces that you this is only going to resonate for some of you okay only take it if it fits but if you know what I'm talking about, if this is hitting home for you, I feel like you want to escape from this situation. You want to walk away from this person or this situation. You do. You do. But I feel like this person makes it hard. Either this person makes it hard for you to walk away or you feel like, no, I can't give up on this. I can't give up on this. I've invested too much in this. Tell me more. Tell me more. Or is this somebody who walks away from you? And that's how they manipulate you. <laughs> Tell me more, please. Tell me more. The Pisces, what is this? Hmm. Tell me more. Thank you. Uh-huh. For some of you, this is definitely um, a romantic partner. Yeah, Pisces. <laughs> Hello. Judgment. And the lovers came out. We have Gemini energy here. Um, Pisces, your judgment is telling you something. Your intuition, you're, Pisces, you are so intuitive. You're a very intuitive sign, right? And I feel like your intuition has been telling you for some time to walk away from this. You know this person's an energy vampire. You know it. I'm getting a strong feeling that this past energy is in relation to this, but whatever this is, Pisces, there is someone around you, potentially a lover, I don't know, maybe an ex-lover, I don't know, who is out for their, there's something here, they're manipulative, or they're out for their own gain, or they just simply drain you, you know, like you wake up in the morning feeling fantastic, you're singing with the birds, on top of the world, and by 9am your day is ruined, ruined <laughs> and it's like your intuition has been telling you for some time walk away walk away but you see these cups that are left behind as this person's walking away there's something every time i try to leave something keeps pulling me back me back telling me i need you in my life that's what i'm hearing mm -hmm. bottom of the deck three of wands in reverse it's like you can't see your life without this person or they manipulate you into thinking that there's nothing else out there for you i don't know i only take this if it fits pisces tell me more please tell me more about this person who is this person the lovers is here so it's telling me that it's a romantic connection or a very very close friend but i'm getting more romantic thank you yep have strong libra energy here strong strong justice in reverse and the empress in reverse 
this person, so they could be a Libra, um, this person, this person is dishonest. I'm getting either this person is very, very dependent on you, which is what I'm getting here, because I said I feel this energy vampire theme. Either they're very dependent on you, or they've manipulated you to a point where you are or have been very dependent on them. But th justice is in reverse, honey, and you know it. You know the situation is not fair, it's not right, there's dishonesty here. I don't like it. Yeah, Pisces, it's like, not everyone can eat at your table, honey. Not everyone deserves a slice of your pie. Not everyone deserves access to you. Tell me in the comments if this resonates for you, please. This is going to be a very specific uh, reading for a very specific group of people. But all I can say, Pisces, if your intuition has been telling you that someone is either using you or manipulating you or, you know, only reaches out when they need something or, you know, your intuition is absolutely on point. Make no mistake. Yeah. There's some kind of codependency going on here. Yeah. There's some kind of codependency. So you may be dependent on each other in different ways. But Pisces, I'm getting like, <laughs> this is your energy. You don't need this person for jack shit. You don't need them. For what? For dishonesty, for disappointment, for keeping you playing small and not realizing your worth. What for? Maybe validation. Well, this is what you feel like you have with this person. This is the dream, right? The Ten of Cups. This is what keeps you there. This is what you thought you were going to have or this is what you still think you're going to have when in reality, loss, lack, leaving you out in the cold, manipulation. Oh my God, bottom of the deck energy is coming through. Lies. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, stop, stop. I think you know what I'm talking about, Pisces, if this resonates, no more needed. Let's move on to future energy. Please, for Pisces, I hope to God that this is you closing your heart down on this person, if that's what it's talking about. But free will, we all have free will. <clears throat> Clear, concise messages, please, for Pisces. What is this woman holding a heart in reverse in the near future energy? What can you tell me about this energy, please, for Pisces? <clears throat> Pisces. Do you know what's crazy? So I, if you're new here, you won't know that I had to take a break from offering tarot readings on here for about two years after I um, went through a bereavement. But I remember the last Pisces and, uh, reading that I did was very similar to this. So for some of you, this is something that you've been in for at least two years. Mm -hmm, bottom of the deck again. Same cards, but do you notice how they're in reverse? Wow, I love that. And look what's followed, following it. Six of Wands, oh my God. How can I explain this now? Pisces, I'm telling you now. If you let this fall, this person who is draining you, okay? If you let this fall apart, if you let this end, if you let them go, yes, it will be hard for, for a time, for some of you, there will even be financial difficulties, yes. But you will recover and you will come out on top. On top. You'll be back in your element, back on your high horse, making progress in life again, succeeding again. Hmm. I'm just saying. Okay. Wow. That was bottom of the deck energy. This is what actually came out. Wheel of fortune. Hello. So look, when you close yourself off, to this person, when you start protecting your heart, when you start realizing your worth and realizing that only certain people deserve access to you and closing the door on those who don't, look how the wheel starts to spin in your favor. Look at that, queen of wands. This is, again, knowing your worth, confidence, success, progress, this is beautiful. Will it be hard for, for some time? Like I said, yes, nine of pentacles in reverse can talk about loneliness. Being single, but maybe not enjoying being single at first. Yes. But look where it leads. Nine. 
to the 10. It will feel like this for some time and then boom, the wheel will start to spin in your favor. A new cycle can then begin, Pisces, I'm telling you. And this is coming out in future um, energy. So for, for some of you, this is what you're going to be doing. But you have free will, right? Just take this as your um, your guidance, your confirmation. If you're feeling like a set, I feel like some of you are. If you're feeling like walking away, take this as your confirmation. Yes, you should. Yes, it will be hard at first. Yes, you will miss them. Yes, you may be lonely. May even struggle financially. I don't know why that's coming out for some of you. Maybe you're dependent on this person financially. I don't know. But baby, baby, all I know is it leads somewhere way better. Way better. I'm just reading the cards. Let's get you some love oracle messages. <clears throat> this person doesn't deserve you, Pisces, is all I'm going to say. Be brave. Be brave. For some of you, it's not even going to be hard because I just have to say that the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, yes, it can talk about loneliness, but it also just talks about self-worth. Just knowing your worth. I'm telling you, the minute you close this door and spend some time by yourself, loving on yourself, and spend time with good people who care about you and love you, your self-confidence shoots through the roof. Trust me. Or trust the cards. Okay. <clears throat> Love messages for Pisces, please. This is a general reading. Please keep that in mind. What messages do the Pisces collective need to know regarding love? Please see if there's anything positive. Uh-huh. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You deserve love. Hope you can see that. You are lovable. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And bottom of the deck, love yourself first. I can't make it up. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Take that in. Let me just give you a minute. Take that in. Okay. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helped. Please let me know in the comments if it did and give this video a like, as I said. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a reading. I wish you all the very best with this situation. Only take what resonates. Don't force anything to fit. Always use your own intuition above all. But that is what I have for you, Pisces. Um, I hope you have a great month ahead and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.